Hi guys, Sam Dyer here. Um, so, unfortunately I left my selfie stick in the car, so I'm going to have to hold it up in front of me, so everyone walking down the street is probably looking at me thinking, what are you up to? So, this, this uh, next video I want to touch on using a mortgage broker. Now, I would never ever personally buy a buy to let without using a mortgage broker. Reason for that, with a very small fee they charge, you know, about £500 or so, it's worth every penny. Now, why, why do people use agents and brokers? It's effectively, you know, we're paying them for their expertise and uh, our time is very valuable to us. Now, for instance, if I was to put, uh, try and apply for a buy to let mortgage, it's not only the time, all the little loopholes you've got to jump through, but a lot of buy to let lenders will only deal with brokers. So, in a lot of respects, you don't really have a choice. That then leads us on to use a good broker. Now, there are brokers out there that will say they'll do everything under the sun. You know, I do this mortgage, that mortgage, do this, 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 this and this. Well, really, you want to be looking for a specialist. So, somebody who specialises in buy to let. Um, we obviously have a very close working relationship with Go Financial Services, uh, buy to let experts. The vast majority of their business is buy to let and commercial finance. So. They have the relationships with the brokers, sorry, the lenders, and you know they're dealing with these things day in, day out. So they really know what they're doing. So my top tip this week, always use a broker. If you want to uh, get, get me to put you in touch with Go Financial Services, drop us an email, contact at dyerandco.co.uk, and uh, we'll catch up with you next time.